What's going on everybody? Back over here working on Project 200. I got to program the new O2 sensor. So since the very first video, if you guys watched, uh, we've had some issues with the Bosch O2 sensors. Um, and then as we were driving it, I don't know if it's from it being rich. I heard that can kind of hurt it. Um, but very first startup, they didn't match very well. And then as it kept going, the uh, one of the O2 sensors would actually keep flashing like super lean and then back super lean and then back to reading and now it just kind of reads a number and stays there so that to me is completely dead probably so we ended up going to add, uh, upgrading to two NTK sensors the car originally had two Bosch sensors so I would suggest for anybody that is doing a Holly build boosted not just do the upgraded NTK sensor from the uh, beginning I've heard of like one NTK sensor being failed and now after this car, these two, two, about five Bosch sensors that have failed. So not very much luck there. Uh, something else that's kind of cool that's been done to the car is my dad's built the front valance on the car. Kind of cool. Hoping that this is good for some uh, front air and helping break it to either push it up over the car or push it under the car. He's also built little plugs for the grill to go in there under the lights and all that stuff. So with uh, a lot of the half mile and long distance racing, you definitely want to try to push air off of the car and not through it. So that's all done. Um, where's it sitting? Pretty much flat right now. Start there. Yeah, it does. Starting flat. Um, right. I guess you could sit there and probably adjust it a little bit, but I don't know, uh, or yeah. we haven't really messed with any of this stuff to know what it gains or hurts us, but mostly just flat to help break the wind above and below. So, so I'm going to go ahead and program the NTK sensors into the Holly right now. And as you guys can see, we have them hanging in the car and right here on this plug or on the uh, plug to the O2 sensor, it says right here, hopefully you guys can see that. Do not plug the sensors in until you have it configured for this sensor. So I am not sure if you plug them in and it's configured for Bosch, if it will hurt the sensor uh, that's kind of what it says on there, so not going to risk anything. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up, swap them to two NTK sensors, and then write that program, and then we'll plug the new sensors in and try them out, and hopefully we are good to go. All right, so I went ahead and downloaded the tune from the car, and I'm going to go over here and go to configuration. Go right here and select Bosch, put it to NTK2. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it on left only for right now until we see what the right bank's doing. I ended up going to left only because that other sensor was fighting us for sure. So i uh, going to go ahead and try this and see what happens. So I'm going to go into USB. As you can see, the system changed. Sent to ECU. And then we have to uh, cycle the ignition. And then I will probably reread from it to verify it took the change. And then um, I'm also going to go ahead and save it. Save file as. And then put NTK. So then we know which one it is. And I'm probably going to go ahead and move all the Bosch tunes to its own folder. So then we don't mess, uh, accidentally write the wrong tune. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug these in. Lil's going to help me out. <laughs> and uh so you're going to go ahead and fire the car up and see what happens. See that it's showing completely lean here. I'm going to pull it over to where I get both O2 sensors right and left. Uh, you can see even right now just sitting, they're actually a little off, but we'll go ahead and fire it and see what it does. Let's see if you guys can see that. Hopefully that uh, the right is 28.3 and the left is 27.5. Fired up. Still got a bit of a difference here. I'm curious, which um, it's like 11, 11, 8, 12, 2, 3. So not. I mean, it's almost about a point off, which it was before too. I have to let the car completely warm up, and we'll see what it does. All right. So now it's looking pretty good, really. 12-0, 11-9, Need to lean out the uh, idle a little bit more, but they're definitely matching now, so that's a that's a good sign. Definitely a lot better.
All right, everyone, that is it for this episode on Project 200. Another quick one, just changing out those two sensors, trying to get everything set right. Uh, at idle now they seem real close and then when I rev it up a little bit they seem to kind of separate the uh, the two AFR numbers so not really going to be able to tell till we fully get the car warmed up and go drive it and uh, do a little bit more um, kind of testing with the new sensors really need to make like probably a real good pull and see up the RPM range if the uh, two AFR numbers stay consistent so if that is the case, then we're good to go. If not, I'm, I'm going to keep looking into it because it just bugs me that those two numbers are not closer together. Um, I don't know. I mean, we've checked everything. We've pulled plugs. They seem to look pretty good. Uh, there was a cylinder on this side that was actually hotter uh, when we were running it, but I guess that could be extra fuel, but usually leaner if the exhaust pipe's hotter. So just some things I got to uh, play with. I just want to make sure everything is really good before we really start pushing on the car. Um, but we are leaving for Texas 2K in about a week. So we're going to hit the first roll race event that we've ever done with the car. First event, first track, first anything with the car. Uh, go down there, hopefully get a few little test runs in, and then we're into the roll racing. And we're just going to see how it goes um, and try to do the best that we can for the first outing with the car. Uh, so we'll definitely have some more things to do on the car to get ready for that. Uh, probably going to get the car aligned and finish up a few other things, get loaded up, and head to Texas 2K. Uh, if you've never been, super fun event, and I will have a lot of content coming from that. So if you have not, please click that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.